And then I remember the uh, wonderful day when um, we were at the Bloomberg's, and it was right before Tosh Leak, and I was disgusted with the high holiday canter. And so I went over to you, and I kind of whispered, you know, why don't we talk to Mike Perlman, who was synagogue like president, about you and me doing high holiday services. And um, you were kind of shocked, and but agreed, and we did it. And uh, we shared the Bema for several years before, um, I guess you left in 91, and 91 was my last year. I've been to Israel also. And I remember also the Friday mornings when we would get together at your place, and we would sing, and we would work on um, coming up with melodies for certain texts in the Siddur that we liked. And um, it was just a wonderful, wonderful relationship, I remember, um, that we shared. I uh, spoke at a lot of synagogues, heard a lot of cantors uh, in synagogues, and was very struck that for many of them, uh, their primary value was the musical value. They were musicians who happened to become cantors. But what I really appreciated um, and loved about you was that, yes, you have a beautiful voice, a real sense of musicianship, but what you cared about was prayer and uh, what you brought to uh, 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 when, you were, when, when you're on the bima is that you're praying in song. And so that I just, I cherish the memories of, uh, of you, the influence that uh, you certainly had on me, eventually getting up on the bima, and the times we spent together uh, just enjoying each other, enjoying the music, and enjoying learning about prayer. So many of us would like to claim that we discovered Laurel and Arnie, but I'd like to think I did. It was in Camp Rama in the 1980s when they were these delightful earth people uh, living in Northampton, teaching high school, baking bread, all that. And my husband and I looked at them and said, you've got to be out there and conquer the Jewish world. This is ridiculous. And next thing we knew, they were on their way to Israel. and. And Laurel, Arnie in his direction, Laurel in hers, and it just became clear that she was going to move into major clergy leadership. And uh, her voice is like an angel. I can still hear her singing at my daughter's Simchat Bat 27 years ago, 27 years ago. And anyone who's heard Laurel sing, it's this incredible sense of lullaby, of protection, of love, on the one hand, holding us and yet taking us soaring. So Laurel. Have a wonderful celebration. It's been wonderful to watch the journey, your journey, our journey, and thank you for serving the Jewish people. I think that Laurel can be described as someone who sings like an angel because there's something angelic and profoundly spiritual about her nature. When we studied together in Jerusalem many years ago, she brought an enthusiasm, an openness, a flexibility along with profound musicality. She once quoted to me another teacher of hers who said, whatever feedback you receive, positive or negative, don't keep it in your pockets. I learned by watching her that we as women cantors have every right to be leaders, teachers, and owners of Jewish traditional wisdom. And we can and should be unafraid to take up space in order to fulfill our calling and serve our communities well. To me, Laurel's Torah is never lose your sense of humor even as you serve God, and especially in the process of holding and building sacred community. Do it all with joy. Things had to be done, um, and things got done, but the people came first. And um, there was a feeling of abundant time, people came before the time, and yet things got done in a, a, in a time that also honored everybody's time. So it's, that, that is the overarching lesson that I think that I get from Laurel. I would say it's her Torah. And that is this feeling of generous abundance. Imsum is the Jewish concept of, uh, originally, of, of God contracting God's self to make a space for the world. So on a smaller level, but a really still a holy level, Laurel makes room 
for the congregational voice as, as a whole, but also for many, many individuals to have their, um, to really contribute and in their own way and in their own voice. And she does it in just such a beautifully generous way. And when I think about Laurel, there's a verse from Psalms that comes to mind. It's Psalm 100, verse 2. Eve do et Hashem besimcha, bo'u lefanav birvana. Come before Adonai uh, with full joy and serve God with gladness. These are two things that I believe Laurel does fully well and it totally encompasses who she is. I can't think of anyone else who is such a committed spiritual leader and whose whole spirit, whose whole personality is fully in what she does. And for me, when I started at Bethel, Laurel teaching and modeling for me that it's not just about work, that there's also service to the community, there's service to Hashem, to God, something larger. That's what helped me not burn out in my early years at Bethel. And it continues to be something that inspires me and my work as an educator today. So Laurel, I want to say thank you so much for all the gifts and all the teaching that you've brought to me. I really feel that you have fully embodied for me this verse from Psalms of Eve duet Hashem b'simcha bo'u lefana birnana. And that's something I take with me to this day. I hope that you continue to bring your embodiment of Psalms your songs, your joy to the community for years ahead. Todagaba. The practical knowledge that I gained from Laurel as a Cantorial intern um, that made the time so valuable were all of those skills that I use daily. But what Laurel really modeled so beautifully is how to be genuine, how to be honestly putting your whole heart into every aspect of the job. And for me, that was the thing that really taught me what the cantorate was all about. I wanted to tell you a few words about um, what Laurel has modeled for me and what I've learned in all the years that I've known Laurel, uh, all 25 of them actually. Uh, now, today, as a rabbi, I lead services on Friday nights. Uh, and when I do, I sing. And when I sing, it's Laurel's voice that I hear inside my head. Every Shabbos, I feel like I am singing along with Laurel. Uh, she is the still, small voice that is in my head. Uh, on Shabbat, on holy days, whenever there is music, and there is often music, she's the one that I hear. <laughs> you have touched my life and so many lives in so many beautiful ways. We send you lots of love and hugs and kisses from Georgia. Come visit us sometime. Love you very much. Bye. And Admea Vasreen, may you go on giving out this beautiful light for years and years to come. Ki imcha makor chayim, boorcha mir e or.
is the source of life. In your life, do we see light? Mazel tov.